Um, and don't forget, uh, if I didn't mention to, to you before, we are coming to you from our second studio, right here in Cycle in Hong Kong. If you'd like to know information about our classes in Cycle, please go ahead to our website. But for today, we are going to do another Um, so I'm going to demonstrate to you first, and then we'll break it down. So there you have, for obvious reasons, the foot hand. Now, again, this is an advanced move, so you do want to have a mat underneath you, you do want to have a spot as well to help you, but there are Some people like to use foot guards, but unfortunately, I don't really think that's a good idea because you want to build a tolerance on your leg, and of course, with foot guards, you don't want it to slip off, um, just like wearing gloves. I personally prefer not to use gloves because I like that feeling of like having that control. So, this is how we do it to help you. You can get some long straps or belts, anything like that. Here, I'm just using some yoga straps, and I'm going to put them over the top of the as I start to lift and put my feet on. Now, where I'm actually hooking, I'm not going to be flexing my foot on the top of the boot, but what, where I'm actually hooking is exactly where my foot meets my ankle, my leg. That's exactly where you're really going to be placing pressure on the boot onto the foot. Not a good idea to be using the tops of the toes, because if for any reason you, you lose your flex, you point your toes for any reason at all, you're definitely I do still keep my core somewhat engaged. 